Hi everyone, Eric Lewis here. We've just gotten back from the range trying out our Beretta M92X. It's a lot of fun to shoot, but one of the most important things after you're finished at the range is to come back into your shop or your garage or wherever you like to clean your firearms and give it a good run through. Make sure that your firearm lasts forever. It runs and functions properly the next time you go out to shoot and that you take good care of your equipment. And before I get started, normally I like to use just an old hand towel or, or just maybe a cut up shirt, something, anything you can put down to protect your nice Cirrus gear mat here or you know, not ruin your wife's kitchen counter and get her mad at you. Another big important step, probably the most important step is to always ensure that your firearm's unloaded. You never wanna handle them unless you've made extra certain that everything is cleared. Today what we're gonna run through is I'm just gonna use some of the hoppies. Uh, it's the Snake CLP. CLP stands for Cleaner Lubricant Protectant. So it's kind of like an all-in-one type of solution. Um, it's a little bit thicker, which I do like, especially in these summer months when the heat can make your oil run a little thin and your gun will get a little drier quicker. Uh, but this will, you know, it'll help clean it, it'll help break down carbon buildup, things like that. And then you go right back over it and use it as your lubricant. So if you're just doing a quick run through, especially this being a brand new firearm that we've only shot today, um, you know, it's a good way to get all the dust and dirt, any of the carbon, things like that. And because it hasn't been shot a whole lot, there's not a lot of the buildup inside of the barrel and things like that. It's definitely not a bad idea to still run, even if you just use the CLP um, on your bore snake, go ahead and run it through it a few times just to make sure that the rifling and everything stays as pristine as possible to prolong the life of your, of your firearm. Another great option if you're coming back from the range and you've been shooting your extreme long range rifle, uh, anything precision oriented where you need everything absolutely perfect, Hoppies has come out with this new, it's their Hoppies 9 Black. It's a four step cleaning process, it makes everything as simple as possible and it does an incredible job. Now this is gonna be when you are really, really trying to get your gun as like new as possible. So you've got your step one, it's just gonna be a general cleaner. Uh, it's got a spray top made onto it. Then you've got your second step of it, which is to help break down copper buildup, things like that in the barrel. Um, if you're using patches, it works great for that. It's also great if you run it through with your bore snake, get a little bit more scrubbing power with this, with the, with the bristles and things like that. And then your third step would be just your general oil. And then finally you can go through and on those, those smaller components where you really need to get down in there, it comes in a syringe, it's just your gun grease. Operates, it's a high temp grease, so it works well when you're doing a lot of shooting, if it's a lot of volume, things like that, you're not gonna have to worry about that breaking down, liquefying and running out. It's gonna stay where it needs to be and keep the gun running just like it should. So what we're gonna do with the M92X, this is still a brand new gun. We've shot less than 100 rounds through it today. We're gonna to do a quick breakdown and cleaning of the gun. When you first purchase a new firearm, it's always smart to go through your instruction manual, make sure you understand how this gun works mechanically so that you can take it apart and always be as safe as possible in doing so. And like I said, you do wanna check and make sure your chamber's cleared. So to break this gun down, it's just got a little retention button here. You press that down with the slide closed, and then you slide this, that's it. Pretty simple. So now you've got your gun broken into two main halves. You've got your lower, which has your trigger assembly and everything like that, and then the upper assembly here. So when you start breaking your upper assembly down, this is your recoil spring. It is under a load, so you wanna be careful because it'll shoot out and you could lose some of your pieces. So you just press in on it, just make sure you have a good grip. It's nothing crazy that you have to worry about. And in most cases, that's about as far as you need to break it down. Unless you've done a substantial amount of shooting, you can get as much done on cleaning this as you need to to keep your firearm properly functioning. If you were going to go a little bit further, you can take your firing pin and things like that out of here. Like I said, this gun's still brand new. There's no need in going that far down in the firearm. When it's time to start wiping this down, you have a lot of options. Personally, I like using a standard paper towel. Uh, just because when you clean as much as I do, if you use an actual fabric cloth, you're gonna run through them like crazy. Um, a lot of people like you can use old t-shirts, tear them into you know like little swatches that you can use. Um, you can use old hand towels, things like that. So like I said, this gun is not very dirty, but you can see even with less than 100 rounds, everything has got some carbon buildup on it, some dirt from being out in the West Texas wind and heat. You just wanna give everything a good wipe down first, get it back. So now we've cleaned off our spring, we're gonna move on to the slide. I just like 
giving it a wipe down with everything dry. And we're gonna wipe it again here in a second with that CLP to go ahead and get it a little bit more. But when you use any kind of solvent that breaks it down and you haven't wiped it first, it'll kind of turn that into a black sooty liquid that you're just rubbing around back all over it. So you're kind of being counterproductive at that point. But you can see, like I said, we shot less than 100 rounds through this thing. And I mean, that's just the dry wipe down. That's not using any chemical, anything like that. So now we've given it a pretty good wipe down with that. We'll move over to the barrel. Make sure our feed ramp is good and clean. So now we'll run our boar snake through it dry. Just, you have to do it once or twice. Just gauge it on how much you've shot and kind of by feel how clean or dirty you think it is. That's actually cleaned it up pretty nice already with it just being dry. That's one of the things I really love about the boar snake is how well it does everything. You can see your rifling's all cleaned out. Works really well. So now we've kind of given it a quick wipe down. Pretty much the only things that I worry about on the lower part is just kind of where your magazine goes. But I don't get too crazy in there because like I said, that's not where all of the action is happening. That's happening in your upper assembly. So now we're going to use some of this. As I mentioned earlier, we'll use some of the CLP. Does not take a lot. This stuff goes a long ways. So just get a good section of a paper towel or your whatever fabric or cloth you end up using. And give it a once over real quickly. But as I said, you know, we've gotten it as clean as we can get it dry. It's one of the neatest things about this product is it breaks it down a little bit further. So even though I couldn't get anything else with the dry fabric, there you go, you're breaking it down and you've already done your first layer of lubricant. I like to leave it on there until I come back around. So I'll wipe everything down and then I'll come back and dry it off. And then I'll put a very thin layer on it again before reassembly. And inside of these slides, there's a lot of grooves and, and little channels that you want to make sure and get into. Now what we'll do, I'm going to put a little bit of this. Like I said, this stuff goes a long ways. Put a little bit on the end tab and a little bit on this front piece here. The reason I do that is because that's going to put some on there in advance for your scrubbing brushes to actually scrape it out. And then at the end, you're going to leave your lubricant inside so that you don't have to worry about any corrosion or rust inside of the barrel. So it's kind of like a, you know, doing, doing two steps at once here with this boar snake. And we'll give that a couple of pulls through. Nice. All right, I'm gonna finish drying off this. And as you can see, even though I've wiped it back off, it's still got a nice sheen on it inside and out. So it is still well lubricated but I'll do a little bit on these areas of high friction, like the inside of the, where the slide runs on top of the lower assembly, as well as where it runs on top of the magazine. And I'll just rub that in with my finger because obviously if you use any kind of fabric, it's gonna be absorptive and take that in and off of your gun. And then I'll go back over the barrel and then that's it. So as you can see, everything is clean. It's well lubricated. All that's left to do is reassemble the pistol and it's ready to go back into storage or head back to the range.